Hey everyone, I'm Budget Nerd. This is my channel. I thought it would be fun to spend a few minutes going over how to install the latest test build of Windows 11, since it's now available to everyone in the Windows Insider Preview Program, and since it should be coming out in October. Let's dive in. Some new features in Windows 11 include 1. Downloading and installing Android apps, though you'll have to download and install them through Amazon's App Store. Widgets, which sounds lame. Windows Vista, anyone? Teams will be built into the OS, good or bad, you decide. Number 4. Separate desktop. Well, actually this isn't new. Windows 10 kind of let you do this, uh, but a lot of people may not have known about this. Windows 11 brings it out into the forefront. Snap layouts and groups. You could already snap windows before in previous OSs, but it sounds like it might be more feature rich and give you the option to save certain configurations. Lastly, as far as major updates, uh, a new start menu and taskbar design. If moving the taskbar items to the middle is redesigning it, then okay. Anyway, upgrading your computer to the test build of Windows 11 is pretty easy, um, but there are a few things to keep in mind. One, your computer needs to be compatible. Your processor will need to have been released in the last five years or so, and your computer will need a TPM chip. Microsoft has a tool to check that for you. You can find a link to that tool in the description. Your computer needs to have an activated version of Windows on it. If your OS is too old, you'll need to get a hold of a newer licensed version. You need to register for Microsoft's Insider program. It's also pretty easy and the link to do that is also below. And then last, you go to your computer you wish to update and open your settings. Go to the update and security and click on Windows Insider program. If you don't see this setting, you'll want to make sure you're signed into an account that has admin rights. Select Get Started, then sign in with the account you registered with, follow the directions, select the channel you'd like to get builds through, accept the legal garbage, and then restart your PC. Once you get back in, go to your Windows updates, and you should see the Windows 11 update. Now let's check it out. All right, there you go. Welcome to Windows 11. Truth be told, I let it sit for a little bit and then it froze on me, so I'm rebooting it again. Um, I thought it'd be fun just to kind of check it out together. Um, I've seen a few pictures, but I've never played with it before, so this is the first time I've fiddled with it. So clearly one of the biggest things is you can tell they moved the start menu to the middle. I don't know why. I don't think there's anything wrong with it being on the left, but hey, whatever. You know, some people say it looks like um, a Mac because they have their what they call their dock in the center. Uh, I suppose that's true. Uh, and another thing I notice is that you see in all the screenshots, you got that desktop with that uh, that white screen with the crazy wavy blue, whatever that is. Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, you are. So I don't know why it doesn't come up with this by default. Okay, yeah, so this looks a little bit more familiar. This is what I'm used to seeing. Um, so it looks like some of the icons are a little bit different. Uh, nothing too drastic, though. That is pretty much the same. So I noticed it's got this moon focus assist settings. So this looks a little different, but it's more or less the same thing as it was before. Clear all. Okay. So context menus. Um, kind of the same options. Open in Windows Terminal. Hmm. PowerShell and Terminal, huh? Okay, so when I finished installing it, yep, this is what I was greeted with. This, I guess this must be the new start menu. 
Um, it kind of reminds me of like an app tray on a cell phone. Like there's just this big, huge list. And you just kind of got to find it. To be fair, that's kind of what the old school start menu was. You just click start and you're just scrolling, looking for stuff. So this isn't too different, I guess. I don't know what this is. Clip champ. Oh, I click it and then it installs. Is that what it's doing? Adobe Lightroom. I didn't have that installed. Photo editor. So it looks like WhatsApp. Yeah, I didn't have line. I don't know what any of this is. I didn't have it installed. So it looks like it might install a couple things. No thanks. Clip champ. Yeah, I don't know what this even is. Moving on. Of course, you can always search too. Okay, and when you search, this actually does look pretty similar to the start menu before. So one thing I, I think you'll notice is there's a lot of rounded corners in Windows 11. You'll apparently see a lot of that, but only on the top. Oh, no, no, no. Well, the bottom has round corners, too. So this is a uh, preview build, so, you know, there may still be the occasional bug. Well, it seems as though it may have frozen on me. That's what it did last time. So I guess I will... Shut it down. Turn it back on. Makes for some exciting video for sure. Okay, we're back. So let's forget GIMP. Apps, documents. Let's see. So you also get... I guess what they call recommended, which looks like it's probably last viewed or last used. More. Hmm. Power options. Okay, typical. So if you right click it, what do you get? Okay, same kind of menu. So I don't notice anything new in here either. The search, okay, yeah. So I think this is something new. Oh, no, it's not. Desktops. So you can create new desktops, switch between the two of them. It's kind of neat, but it's nothing new, really. This is what I was thinking is new, widgets. Now, when I, I think of widgets, I kind of think of Windows Vista. Windows Vista had a few widgets. Um, and then in Windows... Um, Seven, I think they had a couple, but they you just never really saw anyone use them. So I guess Microsoft is trying widgets again. This looks just like news and nonsense. Who cares about this stuff? Uh, maybe weather. No, what the heck? Hmm. Okay, just takes me to the page. Fine. So again, I'm I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. This is the first time I've fiddled with it. So maybe I don't fully understand what the heck they are trying to do with these widgets. Show more like this. Fewer stories like this. Manage interests. Save for later. Hmm. So maybe this is where your widgets go, is in this, delete, uh, just they go in this like widgets sidebar, I suppose, and this is where they go. So I guess you can kind of customize stuff in here. Um, although I'm not sure how you'd add one though. It just looks like a news feed, really. All right, moving on. So it looks like chat. This is something that's new. Ah, uh, it's just Microsoft Teams. Okay. Yeah, good old Teams. 
All right, let's see if we can find some settings. Here they are. Okay, kind of looks a little similar with a few differences. The left is pretty much the same. The right does seem to look a little better. I never really liked the settings um, view in Windows 10. It just looked so plain and sterile. and So they got these little tiles to click on. I mean, I think it looks a little better. Bluetooth devices. Okay, so a lot of the same sort of info. Just organized a little differently, it seems. Accounts. Gaming. Windows update. All right, well, let's see what other personalization options we have. So with dark version of this, that's cool. Glow four images. Next desktop background. Hmm. Cool. Uh, maybe I didn't click that one. There we go. Huh. Neat. And then this one. Hmm. So pretty. I wonder, I assume these are rendered. <laughs> but if not, then um, I wonder how whoever folded all this, whatever this is, fabric. I wonder how much Microsoft paid them. Although I'm sure it's rendered. Background. Yeah. Colors. Yeah, kind of the same thing. Start. So this definitely changed. The start menu. Show recently added apps. Items. So you can add documents. Let's see. Um, network. And settings. There you go. So now when we click on the start button. Okay. Documents. Network. Settings. It's a bit hieroglyphic. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Taskbar. Corner overflow. Hmm. That's what this is. Like the system tray. I guess that's called the corner overflow now. Don't care about OneDrive. And just update status. Taskbar behaviors. Oh, so you can put it on the left if you want. Okay. Interesting. So for all of you out there that are freaking out about the center taskbar, <laughs> at least in this build you can move it to the left. I assume something like this makes it to the final build. But you can throw it over to the left, although then your start menu still looks a little different. So this looks more or less the same. If there's more interest, then I can always dive into some other things that have changed, like if they have a new file system or security is any different. Um, anyway, that's kind of all I had here. I uh, just wanted to show, kind of, again, go through it myself. So hopefully everyone enjoyed it. If you have questions, fire away. Um, well, of course, when it comes to Windows 11, I'm learning about it as well. So we can figure some things out. And if there's anything you guys want to know, 
um, let me know in the comments and I can try to figure it out or maybe show it or do a little research um, and go that route. Okay, well, anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later.